Welcome back to our life out in the country. We are out here in the barn with the tractor and we're fixing it. Our tractor has an hydro, our, that's tundra eating over there behind the wall. Our tractor has a hydraulic leak. So the control valve where the handle is was just drip, drip, dripping hydraulic fluid. We didn't want it all over the place and we didn't want the pump running dry while we're driving the tractor. So we said, let's fix it. Let me show you the problem and then we'll show you what we're doing to fix it. So this is the original control valve that we took off the tractor. It had a handle on it and this is how you would raise and lower the uh, three point hitch. And basically what happened was this handle got worn out. So it was slipping and somebody decided to put a screw sideways right through there. You can see that big hole. That's not supposed to be there. So they put a screw in it to try to hold it still. What they ended up doing was messing up this whole thing. You can see this, it went straight inside and messed up the seal. So we had hydraulic fluid coming out right here because somebody tried cob jobbing it and messed it up. It's like so dumb. I don't know why somebody would do that. Yeah, this whole thing is loose. Um, so the seal is all shot. You can see that's all a mess. We couldn't reuse this, so we just went ahead and bought a used new one. Here's the new one. This is what it's supposed to look like, no holes. And here's the handle that'll go on here. And that's a new handle yeah. that we picked up. Yeah, used, new. Yeah. yeah. So I'm putting the new one on and it's pretty basic swap out. I cleaned it all up. I put new O-rings on it, new O-rings on this side. And now I gotta clean up the rest of the parts and I'm gonna put new O-rings on this too. So they're all cleaned up, the O-rings are in place, and this is how they're gonna go, the cover, the control valve, this piece. But before I can put them on together, I gotta hook this piece back onto this um, check valve down here. So I got my O-rings on. And there's just three bolts that can hold it to the bottom. Where is it? These are O-rings, so this doesn't have to be like cranked, cranked down, but it just tight enough that they're not gonna loosen up, you know, vibration. This piece goes in here. The cover goes on here. So we have four bolts and you got to pay attention because two of them are longer than the other. Short ones go on the top, long ones go in the bottom. Let me get them started. Okay. Now we got a, like a huge, heavy chunk. Don't forget the handle. I know. Just wanna make sure these are going in proper. So there it is. And before I put that too tight, we gotta get squeeze that handle in. I 
I think that's it. That's all done. Actually, that wasn't too bad of a job other than having to wait for this to come and wait for the O-rings to come. But it's a pretty easy fix because it's just O-rings. Um, even if the handle wasn't leaking, maybe an O-ring was leaking. That's it. Pretty easy. Uh, there's probably leaks on this one, but I don't think they're as bad. So I'm not worried about this if one yet. So we should be using the tractor very soon. This is all we needed. The only thing we have to do now is pick up some new hydraulic fluid because we forgot to get fluid of all things. And uh, that's all there is to it. So eventually I'm going to replace these both because these also are pretty shot. Um, this one I might be able to keep, but this one, there's also supposed to have a lever on it and it's all broken in there. So I might replace both of those, but they just go to these and we don't have a, lo a front loader bucket or anything like that, so it's not a big deal if those don't work. The only thing I couldn't do is bolt the fender back on because the bolts were shot. Look at Tundra over here. <laughs> Crazy. So I'm gonna buy some new bolts, but that's it. Four new bolts and we should, and some fluid, hydraulic fluid, and we should be back in action. Tractor is fixed. Since we fixed the tractor, it's time to fix the car. Now we didn't mention this, but the other day, the rear wheel on our car started locking up while we were driving and it was heating up the brake caliper sticking. So our brakes were like just cooking hot. Last year, our front right one was having the same problem when we went down to Arkansas to Jeff's. Yep. So luckily we have some experiences with this and we bought a new caliper. We're gonna swip, swap out the old caliper and it should be fixed. So let me just go get my wrenches. Here's our brand new caliper and look how awesome that looks. It's almost a shame to put it down there. But we're gonna swap it out kind of quickly so I don't lose a lot of brake fluid over here. But we're just taking out this old one and hopefully putting in the new one. We got the old brake pads on there. Well, after much struggling, I got the new caliper on here and we're good. That's two fixes in one day. I'm happy with it. The bolts were really hard to get in because the bolts are all messed up. So now I got to get Ashley out here so I can bleed the brake lines and get the uh, air out of the cylinder and then get it down off this precarious makeshift jack. You see what I did? I drove the front wheel up in a high spot. So there's like literally no jack under here. It's just kind of teetering because my jack broke, but it got the job done. Since we were able to get the car fixed, we were able to go to the store and buy the parts we needed. So now we have the hydraulic fluid and the bolts to put the fender on. That's what I'm doing right now. Make sure these are good and tight. This is where we fill the hydraulic fluid. That might be good. All right guys, the tractor is doing better, but I still have problems. This is where I'm at. So I was checking out the fluid and it was really milky and foamy. And I went inside the house, did some research on the computer. I know nothing about hydraulics. This is one area I've never worked with before. It turns out that foamy, milky hydraulic fluid means there's probably air or water in the system. Um, I still have a small leak down on these uh, ports. I wasn't worried about that, but I was concerned about the fluid being bad, being watered. Uh, if water had got into it. So I decided to drain it. I pulled this, one of these off, and I ran the tractor for a minute just to try to flush it out the best I could. And this stuff looks nasty. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. 
And I'm looking at this system. You know what? These are for the accessories. I have no accessories. I don't plan on doing accessories right now. This one's missing a handle anyway. I'm gonna take all of this off. I'm gonna take this off, this off, this off. There's no point in replacing these when I could just remove them. So I'm gonna remove them and hopefully use this cap to seal the block. I don't know how that's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. Here go. You wanna film for me? I was about to tell you that I was going inside. What? Why? I figure this is a good time as any to start this work because I just drained all the fluid, so. Might as well take it all apart while I can. And I have to go to the store tomorrow. So I'm gonna do this now so I can get any parts I need while I'm at the store. Sometimes you don't have to know what you're doing. You just have to try. Did you know that? Didn't really think about it. Does it make sense? Guess so. Because you can still do something even if you don't know how to. Yeah, you just figure it out, right? Like riding my bike? Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta try. I got this one piece off that went on the other side. Now, this should be ready to come off. I got it all unbolted. Just gotta loosen this one up. Get a hold of it. Oh, that's heavy. It's heavier than it looks, that's for sure. And now my plan is this. Let me get these bolts out. Oop. And my plan up here is to use this cap, the cover that goes on there, and you can see it has three O-rings. And I'm hoping they have some life left in them. And I'm gonna put it right on here and just cover those holes right up. Just like that, I'm gonna clean it first. So what I have to do is go to the store, what was that? And um, pick up bolts that are shorter, that'll just go just like that, like one inch or less bolts to go right there and hold it on. So now that I have this apart, everything went smooth, I know exactly what I need to buy. So tomorrow, I run to the store, pick up some bolts, Get this back together, put the new fluid in it, and hopefully this time we're ready to start doing some work. What are you doing? Feeding the animals. It's feeding time. It's kind of chilly out today for some reason. It's spring, but spring hasn't sprung. No, spring has not come here yet, and it's like almost mid-May. Yeah. It's been hard because like I really wanted to start a garden this year, and I am behind schedule with that. But at the same time, the weather makes me feel okay about that. Because it's been way too cold to start, plant, or do anything. Most days have been way below average here. I'm thinking about cleaning out the garage and making room in there for the tractor. I don't want it in the barn anymore. It's so dusty in here. And the tractor just gets covered in dust. If I can make room... Oh, you can't even see it. In the barn, in the garage, in the other building. Then the tractor will go in there. I have the trailer in there right now. We got Bo out here. You gonna let me come over here? No. One of the first things we want to do when we get the tractor working is start pulling trees out of the pasture and safely just wait and see how we do that and also we got to clear up this pasture and we don't really need the tractor for that but some of this stuff we got like a big down tree over here we're just going to use it to drag stuff out of here make it easier yeah and a lot of these trees in here also we're going to cut down mm -hmm. we're going to make it really nice in here for them open sunny I think we're going to try to park the tractor in here. We've been kind of slowly cleaning up, organizing some of this stuff, but this is our junk from inside the 
barn, the garage and the house that we have to get rid of. So if we kind of push this to the side, we should be able to park the tractor in here, keep it cleaner. I'll probably work on that right now. I'm excited about going out tomorrow to get the parts because not only can we start cleaning up the property, but tomorrow our paper should be here. And we can finish the ceiling. We are at such a standstill on the bedroom waiting for paper. It's crazy. Yeah. But we're not giving up on the paper. You guys, you might not like it, but we like it. So tomorrow, paper. That means tomorrow I'm motivated to get the bedroom done. We're going to get the paper on the walls, ceiling, on the ceiling. Yeah. On the ceiling, we're going to seal it. We're going to get doing woodwork, flooring, all that fun stuff. So we can't wait to show you the flooring. Yeah. We have like our living room is filled up with boxes and boxes of flooring right now. <sighs> it's coming. I guess that's all we have for today. Ashley's going to go inside get warmed up. I'm going to work on this mess. Can't move the tractor tonight, but I want it ready. Mm -hmm. So that's all we have for now. Until next time, take care. Bye.